I'll be showing how to embed interactive apps into Microsoft Word for the web. This is a brand new capability that's in the process of rolling out right now and it's very similar to how you can embed apps into OneNote. Lots of different apps are currently available and I'll be showing those and we'll be adding a lot more in the future so stay tuned for that. So let's get started. I'm here on the office.com homepage and I'm going to go to Word for the web in the upper left right here. I'm going to open up a document that I already have and here we are. I'm going to start with one of the most popular apps to embed which is YouTube. So I've got a YouTube video here and I'm going to copy this URL in the top of the browser. We'll go back to the document and I'm going to go here in my Word document and control V to paste and I'll make that a link and immediately it renders it interactively. Now I can click play on this video and you get the full YouTube experience. I can hit pause, I can mute it, you see the little pop-ups, I can turn on closed captions, all of those capabilities are right there and I can even go full screen. So this is a full interactively embedded YouTube video. You also have the link right here with the text and description. Now if I hit undo, control Z, you'll see it converts that back into a regular link and that's the same way it works on all of these and I'll redo that one. So YouTube is easy as paste to link. Next up, Microsoft Forms. So I have a form here and I'm going to hit control C to copy the link. We'll go back and I'll hit paste. And very quickly that form is interactively embedded. This can be great for education scenarios. Maybe you want to embed a survey in your document. There's lots of reasons why you might want to do that. The other nice thing is a bonus. I can even enable immersive reader on that form. So if I click enable immersive reader, now when I hover, I can get that immersive reader right there in the form, which is quite cool. So that's how forms works in a Word document. We'll scroll down and keep going. Stream is up next. So Stream is Microsoft's video solution, which is great for this Office 365 tenants. It's kind of like YouTube for the enterprise. And I've got a Stream video here and I'm just going to copy the link just like before. We'll go back to the document and I'll paste. And there's my Stream video. It immediately renders. And just like with YouTube, I can play it. So really easy to do a stream video. Next up is Sway. So I'll go into Sway and copy the link. Go back, paste it, and there is my Sway. So the full Sway is right here. I can do all the things that I would normally do in Sway. This is my full Ninja Sway. And anytime I want to go full screen, for example, I can click here. And now I've got my full screen Sway. It's right there. So really easy to get in and out of that sway. Next up is one of my favorite apps which is Flipgrid and the Flipgrid Shorts camera is now supported in Word. So I'm here in Flipgrid and here is a Flipgrid Shorts video. One of my favorite people in the world and Cosma has made a great Shorts video with Flipgrid. I will go back into my Word document. I'll paste that link and immediately here's my video. I'll hit play. Hello everybody. Hey Anne. Oh, there's Anne. So Flipgrid Shorts videos work just as well. Now we're going to move to some third-party apps that are supported. Vimeo. Vimeo is very popular for videos. Here's an example here. I've got a Vimeo video. I'm going to copy right here. Go back into my document and paste. And immediately there's Slow Life. This is a really cool video. Slow motion underwater. So Vimeo works as well and again just like before I can go full screen really easy and see all the content that I need to if I want to see it in full screen. Next up is SlideShare. SlideShare is a really popular way to share slides publicly. I'm going to go to the site here and I've got a SlideShare link that I like. I'm going to copy this link right here. This is on a SlideShare site. We'll go back to the Word document and hit paste. And there's SlideShare and I can walk through that slideshow. I can go full screen, keep going through that SlideShare, slideshow, all really quick. Last one I'm going to show are TED Talks. TED Talks are very popular videos, 3,500 of them. I'm on the TED Talk side here. I'm going to copy this link, Tiny Robots with Giant Potential. That sounds super interesting. So I'll paste that link here and immediately there's my TED Talk. This is 
That is a quick tour of all the current interactive embeds that are supported. The Word team is working on adding more and more, so in the near future, keep your eyes on that site that I showed earlier. Again, link is in the description. I put it back on the screen, but we expect more apps to be added to this. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.